Hello. I think, looks like first person that is Benny S. Says, I see you. Hello, how are you? Renee, hello. Rhonda, how are you? Rhonda Prelo, how you doing today? Uh, Miss B, hello, how are you? Internet problem. Uh, Jaylena, hello. Ron Wilson, hello, how are you? Renee, hello. Lynette Kama, hello. How's everybody doing? Hey, listen, as you come in, as you come in, as you come in, give a thumbs up if you have not done so. Back out of the live to give a thumbs up and then come back in. We're gonna have a great time today here at the Young's house. Michelle, hello. Uh, on the move, hello. The Miss, hello. Sonia, hello. How are you? Startlet, hello. Alyssa Wooten, T Tuck Lights, hello. Patsy, Coco, how you doing? Valencia, hello. Janice, Eula, and Linda. Shannon Wells, hello. Cutie Pie, hello. How you doing? Emma, or Emmy, hello. Joanne, cooking with Mari, hello. Hello, everybody. Anthony, hello. Latoya, Erica Parks, Patsy, Cat Slat, how you doing? Hello, everybody. If I miss anybody's name, forgive me, y'all. It's a lot of names scrolling by. Robin, hello. Derek Eads, how you doing today? I'm doing good. I hope y'all are having a great time today. Lasagna's on the menu. Lasagna's on the menu, and I'm excited. Greg Knowles, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for coming in. Brenda Perrin, hello, how are you? Jeffrey, hello. How's Cat Slat today? Raymond, how you doing? Christy, hello. Derek, hello. Um, I'm not using those, no. Yvonne, Sandra Woody, hello, Francis. <laughs> Give a thumbs up as you come in. During the live, let's make the thumbs up match with the people that's in here. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be some of the best lasagna you all have ever tasted or have ever made. Hello, Mildred, how you doing? Saj, how you doing? Karen Orsini, hello. Elizabeth Haley, hello, how are you? Tiffany Powell, hello. What are you doing to that? I'm trying to get it so you can see the comments. Right? Okay, okay, well, do it over this way. Hold on, y'all. Do it over this way so I can see. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, do it. It's right there. It's available. Okay. It's just to push that little thing in the corner, right? That little square. This shows you. Hey guys, Tammy Bowers, the Miss. Nancy Stevenson, hello. Who's ready to make lasagna? Is anybody out there cooking with me today? Is anybody, any of you all cooking with me today? If you're cooking with me, give me a red heart in the comment section to give me an idea who's gonna be cooking lasagna today. It's Saturday, I feel like it's the perfect day to make lasagna and then take it to work for leftovers. Paula Jackson, hello. Kiki, hello. This is the first time on the live, but you had to be here for this one. You're cooking with me today. Okay, that's great. Patsy Hill, hello. Richard Loins, hello. Jacquees Franks. Waquel Lee, hello. Okay, looks like I got a couple people in here that's gonna be cooking with me. Okay, this is great. Libra Lover, hello. One bad gal, how you doing, Sharon? Hello. Just watching, okay. My Holy King, hello. How are you? Sean, hello. Maureen, what's your name? It says Trash Bag? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Trash Bag Fashion Lover. Okay, welcome. Listen, if you're new at any time, uh, hold on, let me see. Please wear... Okay, I don't understand that. Listen, if you are, somebody says something about the dog. Let me see. <laughs> uh, where'd the message to go? 
The dog has all your attention. He should because he's so cute. Y'all, he is so cute and he smells so good. His name is Prince. And we call him Princey and sometimes we call him Pee Pee. But he is absolutely amazing, y'all. He's over there in that corner and he's watching. He's listening to everything we're saying right now. And then I got another little stinker right here beside my leg. He's scratching my leg. <laughs> Hopefully sometime, um, you know, like after I get done cooking, I'll, I'll put them on my lap and show them to y'all. Okay? <laughs> he is cute. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, <laughs> what we're going to do, let's give a couple of people some more time to come into the chat and then we'll get up and get started so now um if you wanted to use like a ground sausage or ground breakfast sausage you can put that into in there too for extra flavor if you wanted to okay you have a cat max million you used to have let's see I, i'm trying to see what you say you we used to have a dog named Chaser. Okay. I'll be taking notes, Gina. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's exciting. <laughs> he just laying there like a bump on a log on that couch. Glad to catch me live today. Okay, Mary Lou, welcome in. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> You gotta use a rag for that to get that up. Don't use it with your hands, okay? If you swept it on the, to the floor, sweep it up. Uh, thank you. Uh, Carlotta, welcome in and thank you. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out what to put on, so I just threw this on, y'all. I said, the heck with it. You know, my hair wasn't doing right. I just said, you, you know, I couldn't, figure, couldn't find a hat. <laughs> I was just like, whatever. Thank you, Carlotta. You'll be watching and taking notes. Okay, so we're going to give it all. Uh, thank you, Dwayne. Um, five minutes, and then we're going to get started. The first thing that I want to do when we get up and get started, make sure you wash your hands, of course, but we want to cut up some bell peppers and onions. And we're going to be cooking our bell peppers and onions with our meat. So I'm going to use one pound of ground beef, and then I'm gonna use one pound of the ground breakfast sausage. If you're just using ground beef or ground turkey, that's fine as well, okay? We're gonna have a good time today. It's Saturday. Saturdays are always beautiful, right? We're gonna have a great day today. Give a thumbs up if you ain't done it. I see all 259 in here. Only 147 of you giving a thumbs up. Let's give a thumbs up. Jeannie Young's gonna show you a good time today. Thank you, Sonia. Sonia says, happy Saturday to everyone, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Sonia, how you doing today? Uh, you're a new subscriber? No, he ain't, y'all. He is not a new subscriber. <laughs> yes, you're using one pound of ground beef? Okay. You say, I am not of my own. I am not of my own hello everybody hello how are you thank you all for giving a thumbs up let's bring the thumbs up up i'll give a few more minutes and we're gonna get started I, you did you love the garden great we got some new holes in the ground um uh, the ground was kind of hard for me so I put some more, uh, my husband put some holes in the ground for me because I got some more plants I need to put into the ground uh, this evening. So I may, we'll, we'll just see, all depending on how I'm feeling, what the weather's looking like, we may go back out there, but only in the backyard and plant those plants, okay? You're new and your name, how do I pronounce your name? You said, I'm new, Gina. Your name is Y-N-E-Z. Yanez is it I don't know if that's right but welcome welcome to the channel thank you for coming in and joining us we're cooking lasagna 
You're all of your let's see. Okay, so Renee says all the lasagnas have failed. I tell you what, Renee, don't feel bad. And the reason why I don't want you to feel bad is because I have the remedy. I have just the remedy, and I'm going to show you how easily it can be made and be successful. But I do want to tell you one trick when you're making lasagna, y'all. Don't make it too saucy. When you make it too saucy, it don't turn out right. You know, you don't want to over sauce it. Okay, so you're pronouncing how you, you're telling me how to pronounce it. Okay, let's see. Why Nez? Why Nez? Welcome. <laughs> I, I still hope I'm saying it right. Y'all, I'm getting up. You're going to put my apron on. We're going to get our hands washed. Let's rock and roll. All right, Francis says, let's go. All right, here we go. Let me find my apron. Nicole Stucco, how you doing today? Christopher, how you doing? Joyce is here, hello. Welcome in. The Miss is here. Hello, welcome in. Miss Lisa Jones is here. Hello, welcome in. All right, let me check my apron. Okay. We're going to flip this camera around, and when we flip it around, we are going to... Hold on, y'all. When we flip this camera around, I'm going to put the microphone on so the sound will leave out just for a quick second, but the sound will come right back in, okay? There we go. Beth, how you doing? Welcome in. All that glitters. Hello. How are you? I'm seeing a lot of messages or people are sending the mess or... Uh, that YouTube sent in a message for a review. So if you're in here talking crazy, you're gonna get deleted or YouTube will send your comment to review. Uh -huh. And I don't, I don't review those comments. <laughs> I don't review them to accept them. Okay, let's see where I'm gonna put my microphone on this shirt. My goodness. Oh, okay, it'll work right there, right? There we go. You're having soupy lasagna is one problem. Let's see, Gina, having soupy lasagna is one problem that you're concerned about. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Oh, I'm gonna show you, I, I got the remedy. All right, let's flip the camera over. Kicking it with Donna says, Hello to Saj. All right, there we are. Is the computer plugged in as it should be? All right. I don't want that music up on loud. I'm telling you right now. I want to see it not, not even one more time after this. I don't want to see or hear that music. Thank you, Little Bit. Little Bit, how you doing? Little Bit says hands nice and clean. Or impeccably clean, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, so let me get my hands nice and washed. You're going to need, at some point in time, you're going to need a bowl, a mixing bowl, so that we can mix up our cottage cheese and ricotta mixture. Um, now, I want to talk about that. There are people out there that they just don't like ricotta and cottage cheese, or they don't like one or the other. If you are that person, then by all means, you don't have to use it, and the lasagna will still be delicious, okay? But here at the Young's, we like to use the lasagna. We like to use the ricotta, and it's beautiful, right? So if you like it, use it. If you don't, don't use it, all right? 
All right, let me turn my lighting up so I can see everybody's comment. If I miss your comment, or if you have a really serious question, put a stop sign up in the chat and in hopes that I'll read the message uh, and be able to help you, okay? So my hands are nice and clean. First thing we wanna do is, let's go ahead, cut up our bell peppers and onions. We're not, um, we're not gonna do the garlic right now because we're gonna do something special with the garlic. And if you're familiar with me, you know what we're gonna do with the garlic. I'm gonna put my cheese back into the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. Because I don't want it to melt in the hot kitchen, you know. Okay. I tell you what, my family's all excited about this lasagna, and I'm excited to make it for them. I tell you, I am. Lasagna is so easy. There's so many people that they're out there and they think it's hard to make, but it's not. It's easy, and I'm going to show you. Gina, I have the same backsplash in your kitchen. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, so let's chop up some bell peppers, some onions, and make sure you wash them off when you bring them home from your local market because they have germs. You know, people pick through their fruits and vegetables at the market, and I can understand why they do that. You want to get the best one, right? But you don't know if their hands were clean, <laughs> right? And then also they may have pesticides. So always take the time to wash them off when you bring them home. They even have a vegetable wash if you just don't want to wash them off with cold water, you know. Okay, so I'm going to use, I say about that much to do the trick. And then this right here, I'll just put it in a plastic bag and use it, you know, for something later. Maybe I'll make some omelets in the morning and I'll use the rest of that bell pepper, okay? Everybody doing okay? Uh, it's buffering. I don't think it is. I'm looking right at it. Um, let me see who's saying that. No buffering. Okay, thank you, kicking it with Donna. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Are you sure that what? Mary Jane, are you sure that pepper isn't pumpkin? What? <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening here right now. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Chop up some bell peppers and onions, y'all. Okay, you want to slice them? You want to dice them? You want big, you want small, you want medium. However you want it, I just feel like put bell peppers in there, give it great taste. Bell peppers give dishes amazing flavor. I just need you to trust me when I tell you this. There has been times where I've made spaghetti or lasagna and I've sauteed up the bell peppers and onions. It gives it a different taste. So if you want to do that, you can. It'll make you, you know, uh, it takes a little bit more time to do it. But I'm just going to throw my bell peppers and onions right on top of my meat and cook the two together. Okay? <laughs> okay, Sonia says Lynette. Uh, she said she said she left for three to four minutes, and I'm like, who's trolling right now? I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know y'all. <laughs> y'all would not believe that. Okay, so I have my thing set to where if somebody says something a little too crazy, that YouTube will take their comments, and I love this, and they'll put their comment in the review section. It means I need to review the comment to see if I want to accept it. And when those comments go to review, I don't look at them. I don't even look at them. I say, if for some reason it went there, I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not going to look at it to accept it and see what it was that they said. They just need to comment back and, you know, if it's a nice comment, then it'll be accepted, you know? Because it do, it be some trolls, y'all. I have looked in that section before, held for review comments section, and I thought, Every comment that I read, I thought, oh, heck no, uh-uh, uh-uh. So I stay out of that comment section. I said, no, ain't no way. <laughs> Neralee, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. We're making lasagna here at the Young's house, having a fun time doing it. Can the camera come in and show 
my bell peppers. Now, honestly, if you don't want a whole lot of bell peppers and onions, use as much as you want, okay? That's what I want you to do. I don't want you to use a lot and you don't want a lot. But I love the flavor of the bell peppers. I'm gonna use a little bit of onion, okay? A little bit of onion goes a long way. Heavenly Father, please, Lord, don't let this onion make me cry today. Not, not today, Lord. Just please not today. I don't wanna cry. <laughs> These onions always make me cry. Y'all know what it's like. I did keep the onion in the refrigerator all the way up until uh, it was time to go live. I'm just gonna use half of this medium sized onion. If you have a small onion, you can use that. Chop it and dice it any way you like, okay? And then we're gonna get it in the pan. I wanna hurry up and wash my hands because I don't want the fumes to make my eyes burn, you know? Onions right on top, okay, of the meat. And then I'm gonna open up this gorgeous breakfast sausage. You can be using sweetest sausage, sweet sausage, Italian sausage, whatever type of ground sausage that you want to use, you can. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this. <clears throat> Put it in here. Come on and take a look at the inside of our pan. Now, what you're gonna see me do, you're gonna see me season up this mixture right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm gonna season up the sauce, okay? So you'll see me season it several times and then we'll go in and taste it and see if we're happy with the seasoning, okay? So what I need to do right now is get my hands nice and cleaned up. And then when I come back, uh, we'll season our meat Go ahead and turn your meat on to like, a, let's just say a medium high. Keep a good eye on it. And when I come back after washing my hands, we'll talk about what we're gonna do special to our garlic. One fresh garlic clove. One fresh garlic clove. in the morning. So that's how that happened. Things happen. The name of the sausage is a Bob Evans breakfast sausage. And like I said, you can use an Italian sausage, um, a sweet sausage, any type of ground sausage. It's just a breakfast sausage that's ground up like ground beef. Okay, so if we take a look here at our meat, you need to plug this in. <clears throat> if we take a look at our meat, I want to go ahead and show you how much I'm going to season right now. So come on in. We're going to put some salt. Okay. We are going to put some black pepper. Okay. And then we're going to use, this says onion and garlic powder. We'll put some garlic powder. Put some onion powder, just like so. Okay. And turn your heat up. You want to plug in this, um, this device. And I have a masher, and this masher is going to help me once the meat begins to brown up. The masher is going to help me to break down the meat a little bit because I don't want big, huge pieces in my lasagna. I want it to be broken down. So now, if you don't have something like this to mash your meat with, you can always use the, this part of your spatula and just go in and break the meat up just like so. But I normally like to do that once the meat begins to get nice and golden brown, okay? Let's talk about our garlic. I like to do something special with it. When I do this, I, I'm making a garlic infused oil to put into our sauce. When you make a garlic infused oil, you really bump up the sauce that you've purchased or a sauce that you're making. You may be making a homemade sauce. If you make a garlic infused oil and you put it into pretty much anything, it's a real wow factor. And people say, like the sauce is so good. What did you do? It's this trick. So let me show you. In this little 
cute little tiny pan here. Y'all see the pan? Oh, it's teeny weeny, right? This is like Barbie's. <laughs> this is like Barbie's frying pan. So I have about, uh, I'd say maybe a tablespoon of oil in here. Let's go ahead and chop up our garlic. I like to use the side of my knife. Hit that baby just like so, okay? And when you hit it with the side of your knife, what happens? The skin comes off easy. If you don't do that trick well, you're gonna be peeling for days trying to get the skin off because for some reason that skin really likes to hold on to that garlic, okay? But when you knock it real good, just like so with the palm or, or with your fist, that skin comes off very easily. Let's chop up our garlic. Once you get it nice and chopped up, we're gonna put this garlic into that little bit of oil and I want you all to heat up your garlic in such a way to where the garlic gets nice, beautiful and golden brown. It's gonna get crispy, it's gonna get golden brown. Your whole house is gonna smell beautiful like garlic, right? Once that happens, turn it off. You don't wanna burn it because if you burn garlic, garlic can get kind of funky and it tastes really sour, right? So, so, don't, so watch it once we turn it on, okay? My garlic is chopped up enough. So now, oh, I got a big piece. I got to get that big piece. All right. <clears throat> you really take the pungent flavor away from the garlic. You know, sometimes fresh garlic can be really strong. But when you give it a nice fry, it tastes different. Oh, it tastes different. It tastes better to me. Okay. So come on in so they can see what we're doing. Put your garlic in there. Let's heat this up until it's golden brown. As soon as that happens, you take your pan off the burner and just set it aside because then we're not going to use this. Keep your oil. Don't drain the oil off and only use a little bit of oil. Um, uh, once this is done, take it off the burner. We'll set it aside. And then when our sauce is finally cooking, I'll tell you all the perfect time to put your garlic oil into your sauce, okay? I'm gonna look at some comments and see. Got rid of that onion so you won't cry. Yeah, I must have. I think that's what my mind was saying, right? I, I didn't want nothing to do with that onion, right? But really, I had all intentions on putting the onion in here with this, but my mind said, throw it, get rid of it. You don't wanna cry, right? So like I said, I apologize for that. <laughs> You do, you love garlic. Yes, it's good for you. Oh, Chanel says that. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> you got rid of that onion so you don't cry, girl. <laughs> that's funny. I'm on my way. Latika, how you doing? Eloise, hello. Renee P, hello. Welcome back in. Debbie Parker, hello. Y'all are so funny. Christopher Williams, hello. <laughs> she got rid of that onion, y'all. It was on purpose. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, Melanie, M Melanie. Let's see, let's see. Let me see. Melanie says, goggles work great when you're peeling onions or anything. So, yeah, but y'all, I'm not gonna put any goggles on. I, I can't come on here and put goggles on when, well, I guess if I wanted to go viral, <laughs> I guess if I wanted to go viral, I could put some swimming goggles on and cut the onions and that thing would go whoop. <laughs> Maybe I'll start doing that. <laughs> you had to get the lasagna noodles. Okay, Thomas, it's okay, no problem. Oh, I needed something to drink. My garlic is cooking up. Okay, garlic is cooking up. I'm just beginning to smell it. Okay, so once we're done with our garlic, then I'm gonna show you all how to make your lasagna noodles if you don't already know. Now some of the uh, lasagna noodles, I do come where they're oven bake only. Or not only, but, but you can just lay them, you can layer them, make your lasagna, without boiling them. This is not that kind. Um, I have made that kind, but I feel like the noodle doesn't get as tender as it should. That's just my opinion, right? 
So now, I have <clears throat> some water over here. And in my water, <clears throat> we're going to salt the water, bring your water up to a boil, okay? You see how much salt? Always salt the water to give the water flavor when you're making noodles, rice, or potatoes. Salt it to give it good flavor, okay? Oh, you always put extra, Terry says. I always put extra in. Onions and garlic in anything you're making. Okay, yep. I tell you one thing. Garlic and onions is going to give anything great flavor. You hear me? Like, trust me when I tell you this. It's the truth. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to set my cords so they don't come unplugged. <clears throat> Thank you, Sonia, for welcoming everybody. The commercials are going to come soon. Don't worry about it. I'm still going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you can see me getting up in the morning bleaching everything down. I, y'all, I. Here's the thing when it comes to that. Here's the thing. Style. <laughs> All right. 
right, y'all. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's take a peek in at this beautiful meat and these veggies. Y'all something. Y'all are really something. I, 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 uh, uh. I just like, listen, listen. It's just for style. That's all it's for. It matches the shirt. <laughs> no, ain't no gangsters over here. <laughs> time today. I feel like the least you can do is give a thumbs up, right? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm mashing my meat up just like so. Okay, beautiful. Everything's smelling so great. So now, What are y'all talking about? You said that the scarf does match your shirt a little? A little? It matches the shirt a lot. <laughs> a lot. Not a little. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey. Hey there. <laughs> Shara. Shara Morris. <laughs> All right, everything's looking great. So now, uh, Gina, I went on Twitter and told them about your cooking. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Lynette, comma. Thank you, that's great. Hey, listen, tell everybody you know. Tell your family and friends, like I always say, tell the whole world about what Gina Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Thank you. Thank you, Renee P. Thank you, Shara, absolutely. It's all for you guys. It, it's all for you guys. It is just for you guys. <laughs> um, Bridget, what are you making? We are making lasagna today, and I couldn't be more excited to show you all how easy it is to make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'm using it in the morning. This isn't going to get thrown away. Heck no, it's not. <laughs> I'm mad I threw my onion away, y'all. I didn't need to throw that onion away. <laughs> I think it was more on the lines of what Sonia said. I was just trying to get rid of that onion because I didn't want to cry. <laughs> All right, so now, as soon as your, um, I got a little bit of oil. I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit of oil into my water for my noodles so that they don't stick, okay? Now, um, normally, I'm, I'm always the one to tell people, if you're making spaghetti or some type of pasta, not to put the oil into your noodles. And the reason why I like to say that is because if you are going to mix your noodles with sauce, well, the sauce will come running off of your noodles and you don't want that to happen, right? So in this case, since we're making lasagna and we're gonna bake it together, the sauce is not gonna come running off of your noodles, okay? So we, I did put just a little tiny drop of oil into my water. As soon as the water comes to a boil, we'll put our desired amount of noodles into our pot behind us, okay? So it's a 12 foot, yes. 13 by nine or 12 by nine, or you can go to your local market and uh, this said giant lasagna pan. Okay, and normally it is a 12 by nine or 13 by nine, so you are correct. You do, you love my laugh? Okay, that's great. I'm glad you do. Let me make sure the dogs are still in here. Okay, yeah. 
Sometimes they like to go running out the back door, chasing after my husband. He had to go to the fish store because you got to get some stuff for the fish. It's been a while since I've showed you all the fish tank. Maybe I'll show you the fish tank today. Oh, only if you guys remind me. I know a little bit had asked about it. Um, if you remind me, I'll show you the fish tank. Okay, so our beef is cooking up and it's looking good, y'all. Are you using ground meat with Italian sausage for your meat? I'm using ground beef and then I'm using a breakfast sausage, but absolutely you can use Italian sausage, a sweet Italian sausage, breakfast sausage, whatever you like to use, ground turkey, ground chicken, if you're the one that likes that, okay? Use any of them, they're gonna be delicious, okay? Okay, Gina, you're doing an awesome job for teaching us how to cook. Thank you so much. Thank you. I missed your name because the comment went up so fast. You like, okay, Drew says he likes a spicy Italian sausage. Okay. Okay, so Marsha wants to know the new channel. Healthy Recipes with Gina. Healthy Recipes with Gina. Gina. Now, on Monday, I have an amazing keto-friendly chicken um, that I'm going to be making for that channel, and the recipe is spectacular. It's a stuffed chicken, y'all, and it's stuffed with all kinds of stuff. It, it's, it's all the ingredients that we love, right? And I think some of you all might even think that it's fattening, but believe it or not, it's not fattening. It's delicious, it's beautiful, and you're gonna get full off of it. It's a stuffed chicken, and it, it's cooked on top of the stove. Now, you can cook it on top of the stove half of the way, and then the other rest of the way, put it um, to finish cooking in the oven, but that is what you're gonna look forward to um, for Monday for the new channel. I'm excited. Okay, why do you boil your lasagna shells? Uh, the sauce cooks them when you bake them. Okay, misunderstood. Um, when you're making yours, you can do yours however you'd like. Um, there, you can even turn around and take a sheet pan. Check me out. You can take a sheet pan that has like a little lip to it and pour some boiling water on top of your noodles that you've laid down and your noodles will literally begin to cook if you just cover them with foil. And then you come back like a half an hour later and they're pliable. I like to boil mine so you don't have to boil yours. Or you can get the type of noodles that is the, you know, they just cook in the oven. So you just shingle your whole recipe together, throw it in the oven. I, the noodles that I have, I like to boil mine. It's just how I like to make mine. Okay? Oh, you know, you just accent. Okay. Gina, you got it going on in the kitchen. I can smell all that goodness. Yes, Sonia, thank you. Smell it. It does. It smells so good, so thank you for that. I definitely appreciate it. Okay, so I feel, look at this. Ooh, the smell is gorgeous. I really want to get that meat nice and cooked, and you can see that the bell peppers and onions have really let off amazing flavor into this pan. You hear me? Oh, trust me when I tell you this. If you like a little spice in your life, um, you can put jalapenos in here. You can put red pepper flakes. I feel like red pepper flakes would be even better. You know, put a nice amount of red pepper flakes in, okay? Um, I feel like it would be a little better than jalapenos, but if your family likes it, throw you some in, it would be delicious. Now, I've even seen people making um, lasagna where they turn around and put a layer of pepperonis in there. And it really gives a whole different taste and a beautiful look, you, right? So when you slice down into it, you'll see a gorgeous red layer of the pepperonis in, the, in there. And I think it's such a unique idea. I just have to get in the kitchen and make it. I don't believe on my channel that I've made it with pepperonis yet. Just subscribe to the new channel. Your sexy is strong, okay? Just subscribe to the new channel. You cook a lot, okay. Okay, that's great. All right, awesome. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining us today. 
All right, great. Okay, my meat is doing well. Now, come on in, y'all. Let's take a look. I felt like my water was boiling, and I was right. My water's boiling. Okay. So now, I want to show you what, just what happens to lasagna noodles when you go to cook them. You just want to be nice and gentle with them, okay? And I do have that little bit of oil in there. We've salted the water to give it some nice flavor. Just lay them just like so. And in a few minutes, we'll actually go in and we're going to give it a nice stir just to make sure nothing is sticking and we're, you know, moving in the right direction, okay? Don't be afraid to make lasagna. I'm telling you, when I get done showing you all how easy it is to make, you're going to want to run to the store, grab all your ingredients so you can make it for your family. And what I like about lasagna is you can pretty much eat on it for a couple of days. You know, everybody can take it to work the next morning, you know, for a couple of days. And, um, I mean, it's just a perfect meal. Have it for lunch, have it for brunch, have it for dinner, have it for a snack because it's just that delicious. Heck, if you want it to, eat it for breakfast. <laughs> I'm so serious when I say that. When we have lasagna around here, y'all, we can't help but to eat some in the morning. First thing in the morning. If there's lasagna in there, somebody's eating some in the morning, right? Absolutely. Okay, so when I come back around, the meat should be nice and ready to drain. Okay? Now, those uh, lasagna noodles, they'll wilt. By the time I turn back around, those babies would, would have wilted in the pan, and that'll give me an opportunity to give them a nice stir to make sure nothing's sticking. Okay, so if we take a look here at our pan, everything's nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to drain the meat very, very well. Okay, drain it very well. We don't want any excess oil in our lasagna. We don't want a lasagna that has this oily. We don't want a lasagna that's too saucy because when it's too saucy, it, it don't hold up right. You know, we all think about when you're making lasagna, we all think about making the perfect lasagna that's gonna stand up nice and tall and just look beautiful and you can see the gorgeous layers, right? I'm gonna show you how it's done. But also what I wanna talk about real quick is um, after your lasagna is done, you must let it rest before you cut it. I know sometimes you're just like, uh, I'm not letting it rest. I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat it. Well, if you do that, it doesn't stand up nice and tall because it'll be so hot, it just can't. It just kind of goes whoop, you know, onto your, go splat onto your plate, you know? But if you just have the time to give it 35 to 40 minutes to rest, right? Just let it cool down for a minute. When you cut into that baby, it'll stand nice and tall and you will be able to see the layers. But if you don't have the patience and you can't wait, it ain't gonna stand up nice and tall and you're gonna think you did something wrong when you didn't. When all you really needed to do was let it rest before you cut into it, okay? All right. Oh, you said it feeds eight to 10 people. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and drain our meat. Just like so, but before I drain my meat, I'm gonna stir my noodles and I'll be right back, y'all. Right back, I ain't going too far. Be gentle with your noodles, okay? We don't wanna break our noodles up, all right? I typically like to make my noodles, cook my noodles for about 11 minutes, okay? We're gonna be cooking this on 350 degrees. If you honestly would like to cook yours on um, 375 degrees, that would be fine as well, okay? All right, just trust me on that. I need a paper towel if you can get me one. Happy Saturday to everybody, y'all. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all for coming in and joining me today. Let's go ahead and drain our meat just like so, okay? This is your favorite movie. <laughs> your favorite movie. <laughs> Do you call this a movie? All right, y'all. Let me move my camera. Or my, 
I realize you got to watch first, then try it. Gonna get breakfast sausage later. You got everything except that. Okay, that's Kiki. Okay, yeah, Kiki, what you can do um, is always, you can uh, uh, re-watch the replay. And when you re-watch the replay, you know, you can rewind it, you can pause it, and life is gonna be so easy for you. When you have tutorials like this, I love, love, love to teach in detail so people can understand the art of cooking. I'm all in to teaching people in detail so they can understand why you would want to do something with the recipe, you know? I don't believe in making a cooking video or going live when I'm cooking and not really explaining to the people why I'm doing something, you know? Because I'm one of those people that you have to teach me in detail in order for me to understand it. You don't teach me in detail, what you here for? Right? <laughs> I don't know if I meant to say it that way, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it that way, but what you teaching for if you ain't teaching in detail? <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> All right, let's get our drained meat back into our pan. Okay? And here's the thing, as you are cooking, clean up as you go. You clean up as you go, you got some hot soapy water to the left or the right of you. You know, you always have a washcloth, wiping things down. As you're using dishes, you're putting different things away, okay? Help yourself, when you do that, you help yourself be stress-free in that kitchen. So you just got to trust me on that. It works. So now let's go ahead and we have our meat here and we have some sauce, your favorite sauce. And honestly, a lot of you, if you don't like spaghetti sauce, use crushed tomatoes. You know, use a can of crushed tomatoes or just tomato sauce if you didn't want to use spaghetti sauce, okay? It'll work, I promise, because when you use these seasonings that we have here, it always works out, okay? My daughter is making rice, sausage, and cucumbers. Oh, that sounds good. It does sound good. You can get bread and make a sandwich with her meat. So oh, yes, Ron, you could. Yes, you could. It sounds good. You can make a piece of toast and eat it with this, and it would be delicious, right? Oh, okay. So now, we got the meat, the meat has been drained. I want you all to keep checking. Keep checking on your noodles and your meat, okay? Don't forget about one thing. You forget, it's easy to forget about something when you're cooking. You know, when we are in here cooking, it is so easy to forget about what was you doing. Forget about your noodles. You know, you see how I did with the garlic? So easy to forget about something when you got a lot going on, okay? Let's put our sauce in. I don't want you all, sorry. I don't want you all to make a sauce that is too runny. I like to use Prego because it's thick. It, this is the kind that's chunky. But they have all kinds of flavors, okay? They may even have a flavor that has meat in it. So if you're that person and you like that, then get that. And you don't have to cook the meat, okay? Like seriously. Um, get what kind, there's a fly, Lord, there's a fly in here. I'ma lose it. Y'all gonna see me go nuts in here today. Y'all gonna see me go nuts in here today. Oh my goodness, do you, Dakota, are you hearing anything I'm saying? There's a fly in here. Can you get the fly swatter before I go crazy? I'm about to go crazy all up in here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, this is definitely a Sunday meal? Yeah, I think so too. So now, if you see that fly, you swat that fly. You hear me? You say, Mom, move. Dina, isn't there a breakfast lasagna recipe? I don't know. I, I don't know. I have to really think about that, okay? All right. So now, let's talk about the sauce before the fly interrupted. Now listen, don't, I like Prego because it's thick. 
I used to use ragu long, long time ago, but I realized that ragu is um, kind of thin. Okay, so take a look. Let me show you what we got going on. Come on in here, please. All right, but you can look at it and you say, well, it don't look like enough sauce. That's because there's not enough sauce. So we're gonna put some more sauce in, okay? And I want you to see the consistency and you're gonna see that it's not a watery sauce, okay? So come on in, take a peek. That's what I'm wanting. Nice and thick, and we're gonna let it simmer just for a little bit. Nice and thick, and we're gonna season it, okay? Salt, but you already seasoned the meat. I like to season the meat and the salt, okay? Garlic and onion powder, nice amount of it. Black pepper, and we are gonna use some sugar. The sugar to cut the little bit of acid that tomato has. If you don't wanna use the sugar, then by all means, you don't have to use it, okay? It's really that simple. What we'll be doing, once this comes up to a nice temperature and the sauce gets nice and warm, we're gonna taste it and see if you're happy with the seasoning. If you're not happy with the seasoning, then you need to re-season, okay? So, we don't wanna forget about our garlic, our garlic oil that we made. Let's grab it, let's put it into our pan. This right here, this is the magic trick. This is the, this is the stuff right here. Come on in, show the people. Look at it, y'all. That's it. Oh my goodness. Let me scrape that out. That crispy, let me show you. Look on my finger. Crispy, gorgeous garlic oil into the sauce. Y'all, it's a match made in heaven. You hear me? It gives you that umami factor. Make them say, mm, mommy, what she put in this? Well, who we put in it? We put love into it. And then we decided to put a garlic infused oil in there. Okay. So I know the consistency that I'm looking for. Okay, I wanna grab my sugar because I'm definitely putting sugar in mine, okay? So let me grab some. Let those frogs loose to get the troll fly out. It, it is a troll fly, right? Where did that thing go? If you see that thing, Nicole, you grab it. You get that fly out of here, uh-uh. He ain't gonna troll this lie. <laughs> that was funny, the troll fly. Hey, I'm stirring my noodles, y'all. I don't feel like they're ready, but they are almost ready. They're definitely almost ready. Now, what I like to do with my noodles, I'm gonna drain the hot water off of them, of course, but when I do that, I'm also at the same time going to set them in cold water so that they can cool down, so that I can grab them, okay? I don't want them to keep cooking. When they'll keep cooking if you don't cool them down with cool water, okay? So now, I'm gonna get the sugar. I want you all to get two eggs out, ricotta and cottage cheese if you decide that you're gonna use it. Yo, I could eat this ricotta cheese just like this. I love it. I know there's some people that don't like it, but you can still do Gina Young's recipe without it. You know, if you like cottage cheese, just use cottage cheese. If you don't like the both, don't use it, okay? But you can still use the recipe. So now I'm gonna get a nice clear bowl, two large eggs, Parmesan, okay? And parsley flakes, and that's gonna be this cheese mixture, okay? Let me get some sugar to put into my sauce. And then I'd like to know, is everybody doing okay? Bridget says it's to cut the little bit of acid that's in the sauce. It, it, it really is. I'm gonna taste my sauce. I'm not going in for the meat. I'm going in to taste the sauce to see, does it have the flavor that I'm looking for, okay? If it don't, I'm re-seasoning. Mm, mm, mm. mm, mm, mm. Yeah. It tastes so good. It tastes so good. Uh, oh man, hold on, I gotta taste it again. It's okay, it's okay. I got to taste it again to make sure. Mm. I'm so happy. So happy with the flavor right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the sugar in. Let's see. Uh, I fix your recipes as you do. If you leave ingredients out, then they, there you go. There you go, he, he just told you all the truth. If you leave something out of one of my recipes, it ain't Gina Youngstown, don't you dare tell somebody.
audience, Gina Young style, if you left the ingredients out. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't you do it. I'm putting sugar in. Put in as much or as less as you want. Okay? That little beeping is my refrigerator letting me know that I left the refrigerator open. Okay, so let's get our bowl. We need to drain our lasagna noodles. After you drain them, rinse them off in cold water, put them in a bowl, okay? I'm turning the sauce all the way down to low. It's done and it tastes good. Oh my goodness, I'm t trust me. It tastes good, all right? We got a bowl. Get the bowl. Get your noodles and you drain them. Turn the noodles off because they're done. Okay? I'm using the same strainer that I used to drain my meat. Like, because why not, right? Okay, I'll come back into the picture here in just a second. Okay, my noodles are looking beautiful. And uh, if the camera can just show me rinsing the noodles using the, um, I'm using the shower just to give them a nice rinse, cool them down and stop the cooking process, okay? And then I'm gonna put cold water back into my pan and that's where the noodles are gonna go into this cold water, okay? Very soon, everything's getting ready to get assembled. What, you see the fly? Are you looking for it or you see it? Huh? You, what he, y'all he laughing that the fly is in here. I don't understand that. Okay. So show them our noodles. Take a peek. Show them the noodles. Okay, show them how they're sitting in cold water. I just saw the fly, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Get him out, Lord. Lord, get the fly out of here. Oh, go. <laughs> go. Go. <laughs> right, y'all can just see, y'all can just see it going down in here. Okay, come on, turn, turn the fan on. I think the fan will blow him away. The fan will just totally blow the fly away, right? <laughs> I know, Derek. He does. He wants the sauce. That's what it is. So now, I'm sorry, y'all, but the sauce is so good. I want to taste it again. So now, a reason? No, seriously. I want to taste it since I put the sugar in and see how the flavor is. Girl, you gonna hurt somebody today with this. Okay, come on in. Ricotta. Ricotta Sonata. Sonata Ricotta. Ricotta Ricotta. All right, Ricotta. Cottage cheese. We're gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese. How much? Just get you some in there, okay? But the camera can see. Come on and show them. Parmesan. Parsley flakes, just to make it pretty. Okay? And two eggs. And we mix it. And then, guess what I'm going to do? It'll be time to grab out our shredded cheese. And then, I'm going to be showing you all how to assemble the lasagna. The world loves lasagna, and Jeannie Young has a recipe that's going to knock you off your socks. You hear me? Trust me when I tell you. Oh, you got it. You got to trust me. All right. So now let's mix. Come on in. All right. This here is beautiful. This same mixture here can be used to put into jumbo shells. If you wanted to make stuffed shells, Absolutely, you can use this mixture here, and it's gorgeous. It tastes good, okay? You want to put a little bit of garlic powder in there, you could. Oh, Lord, the fly. I can't do this fly. You see it? Oh, my goodness. He jumping up like he can ready to get it. He jumping up like he can ready to get the fly. Okay, look at that. That's a mixture right there that is beautiful. 
Hold on, y'all. He got them. Everybody be. You are slow. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe this, y'all. But get, look, let's talk about it real quick. <laughs> you are slow, boy. Listen. The fly went to the window in the dining room. He just sitting on the dining room, buzz, buzz, buzz. He just buzzing. There he go right there. I'm so mad at him, y'all. My eye is twitching. My, my right eye is twitching. I'm so mad. Yeah, he's trapped. Guess yeah. what he did? He's trapped. So the fly sitting there buzzing. Boo, boo, boo. And he gonna, he gonna swat at it like this. You don't swat at no fly like that. Guess what you do? You, woo, <laughs> that's how you swat at a fly, y'all. I'm so mad at, I'm so mad at him. Is there like fire coming out of my ears like, <laughs> like, like on cartoons? I am so mad. Y'all should probably see fire coming out of my ears right now. <laughs> Yo, you swing at a fly like, woo! That's, the, that's how you swing at a fly. He went like this. Oh, man. Now, I'm talking about my 14-year-old, y'all. Dakota, y'all knowing. Y'all knowing. That's what he just did. But it's okay. We're about to make some lasagna. We're going to have a fun time doing it. Okay? Calm down, Gina. Miss Gina, Janice Lewis wants to know the difference in ricotta cheese and cottage cheese. It's two different cheeses. Um, I don't know the difference. Like, literally, I can't tell you the science difference. But you are more than welcome to look it up on Google. And, you know, to find out what the difference is. Yeah. But I tell you what, they both are absolutely amazing. I do. And they have two different flavors. Ricotta cheese is beautiful. You can spread it on toast with jelly. You can use ricotta cheese in desserts. It can be savory or it could be made sweet into a dessert. But ricotta is something that if you never tasted it before, just buy it so you can taste it to say whether you like it or not, you know. So what are you saying? You got the fly? You got the fly? Because I, I just seen him go past my head. You did it? I felt like I did. He I said just he got, got it. it. He said, open the curtains back up. We're going to see if he got it, y'all. I, I, don't, I don't believe he got it. Ain't no way. He's right here. Ain't no, he's right there. He's on the window. You left him right there. Then you need to get a paper towel and wipe him off the window. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Okay, I can see what kind of day this is. I can see what, I, I know what kind of day this is, y'all. <laughs> Am I a Prince fan? Y'all, we love Prince here. Okay, so let's get started with this. And everything that we want to talk about, all of the great topics and stuff, save the topics for you know, after the live, we can talk about all kinds of stuff, okay? Yes, we love Prince. Okay, look at this. Um, when I make my lasagna, just start off with a little tiny bit of sauce in the bottom in the beginning. Just enough to where your lasagna don't have to go sticking, okay? And literally, that much right there, it's fine. Go ahead and grab your shredded cheese out. Normally, okay, let me see. Sonia says, you know, what size noodles are you using, please? It's just a lasagna noodle. They all come same size, unless you get the kind that are oven baked. You know, the kind that you just bake in the oven, they're a little bit shorter. Okay, but I, I will show you. Let, let, let me see, Sonia, if it has a size. It's a great question. They are 16 ounce, one pound noodles. Okay, this is what they look like. Okay, and at, at any time you need to break one, break it to make it fit if you have to, or cut it, whatever you got to do, okay? Absolutely, because sometimes you might just want to make a little pan, Sonia, and if you do, by all means, take your noodles and cut them, okay? Absolutely, okay? Oh, what a great question. Okay, so let me grab my cheese out. I hope y'all, if y'all are having a good time, let me know. If Dakota has y'all in here cracking up, let me know. Let me know, let me know. My Holy King, how you doing today? I ain't seen you much in the comments. I'm going to eat that sauce up real quick. Okay. Purple Love, how you doing? I haven't tried it. Thanks for letting you know, Patsy. Oh, absolutely. Dina, I have a question. Okay, Eula, what's your question? You want to taste the 
sauce is so good. I wish you could taste it. I'm having a wonderful day. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so my Holy King says you can get them all over Brooklyn. So many bakeries. Oh. Oh, you want double dip? Uh-huh. Purple up. Hey. <laughs> my Holy King says, what's up, Gina? Not much. Okay, okay, okay. So Eula, if Eula, if y'all can remember what Eula's saying, then hopefully you'll let me know what she's saying. I, I can interact with her. Okay? So now we got the sauce, the ball sauce. We got the noodles. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to come all up in here, okay? First thing we're gonna do, look that little tiny bit of sauce. Put your noodles just like so. Now, years ago I was wondering why my Lasagna wouldn't stay uh, together. It's because I was putting my noodles like this. Guess what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to shingle the noodles like this. This is shingling. Years ago, I used to put them like this, and it's wrong. It won't stay together. You do it like this, and that's what you're looking for, okay? All right, you got me. You got me. You guys are smart. Okay? So now, look at that. Perfect. We have noodles that have been shingled. If you're making a little half pan of lasagna, cut your noodles. No problem. Okay, so now we're going to put some cheese. I'm going to put some mozzarella, just like so in this manner. All right, have fun with this recipe. Layer it how you want. Just make sure you keep an eye on your meat and don't put too much meat in between layers because you got a nice amount of layers you're going to do. You don't want to run out of meat, right? So you see I'm putting a little tiny bit just like so in this manner. How easy is this recipe? If somebody out there right now is saying, Gina, it's stinking easy. You bet it is. You're right. Okay, so take a look. Doesn't matter if you have a little spot like that because when it cooks, everything comes together, okay? Nobody freak out, okay? All right, we're moving in the right direction. So now, ricotta salada. <laughs> I don't know why I keep giving the ricotta a name. Look at this. Beautiful. When you put this on here, it will spread out. Okay? Don't try to make it perfect. It's not going to be perfect. Just put the little dollops on there, and it will run together as it cooks. Okay? Just trust me, y'all. I got you. G.D. Young's cooking class. I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. Okay? You want some good loving today? It's right here in this pan. It's right here in this pan, y'all. Easy to do. Let me get a paper towel because I'm making a mess. Everybody doing okay? I hope you guys are doing okay. Once we get everything nice and done, we'll have so much time to talk and have a good time. Okay, so Marcia says, yes, learning your cooking tips. I would so busy sampling the sauce while layering it. Beth says, I found out I have high uric acid count. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. How close are you to juniors? I don't even know what juniors is. I don't even know what that is. What are you saying? Okay, Bridget says she's okay. Okay, great. Okay, so now let's go back in with noodles. Now, Here's something that I've also learned. So come on in and, and let me show you. I'm going to cut this noodle. Use a, um, a kitchen chair if you like. Just rip that baby apart if you want to. Okay, you see I went this way. Now I'm going to go this way in such a manner. The purpose for doing that is so that it can stand up nice and tall. Go one way and then with the next layer go the other way with the noodles. You know, but the noodles are long. Just cut them to make them fit. Okay, and then we're going to keep layering. You layer the sauce and cheese however you want. Okay, however you want. That's how I want you to layer the noodles and cheese. Okay, and I'm going to continue to shingle the um, noodles. All right, it's, it's going to be simpler, more simpler <laughs> for you all to use cutting shears, kitchen shears. Okay, once again. Going back in, layering. The camera will come in and show you all what we got going on. Um, 
here in a second, okay? I hope y'all are having a great Saturday today. I do. I do it my way. Thank you, Ron. Everything that Gina Young does in here is always my way, okay? I'm not doing it anybody else's way, you know? Somebody might be in the comment section right now saying, Gina, I'm Italian and that's not really how you make it. That's how Gina Young makes it. This is how I do it, you know? I, 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 don't, I don't follow the crap. Okay? <laughs> I just thought I'd get that off real quick, just in case. <laughs> Gina is cooking. Gina is teaching cooking science. I feel like it is really a, 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 a art. Okay, so now, put you some cheese on. Come on in, y'all. Layer the cheese wherever, however you want to layer it, okay? Beautiful. Oh, ooey gooey. Beautiful. Delicious. Ooh. Make sure you save enough sauce so that you have enough sauce for the layers. Now, and, 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 and um, a lot of people like to ask me this, okay? Uh, Jacob has a question. Okay. I need to see. I'm missing it. I can't touch the computer right now. Um, it's up to you guys how much um, noodle layers you want to do. If you want to do just two or just three, absolutely. I want y'all to have fun. With, with this, okay? This should never ever be stressful. Don't stress out what you put in, at what time, what order to put the cheese in. Don't don't stress out about little things like that, okay? I don't want y'all to do that, okay? Because that's when you make things stressful. Okay, come in so we can see what we're doing here. More ricotta. You can use one layer of ricotta, two layers of ricotta mix, whatever you wanna do. Look at that. I want you all to preheat your oven. 350 or 375 degrees. Any of those temperatures is going to work for you, okay? I hope you all bought um, garlic bread. You can't have lasagna without garlic bread, right? Or even some type of bread. Back in the days, we'd just have regular bread and put some butter on it, and we'd be happy with it, right? Absolutely. Let me wipe my hands down. Gina. Um, Eula wants to know where to get your meat. Where do you get your meats from? Um, <clears throat> lately, I've been getting my meats from Kroger. That's where I've been going lately. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. Come on in, y'all. So now, remember the layers went this way. Now we're going back this way. I feel like I want to make this my last layer. Okay, that's what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to grab the noodles. It's great when you put the noodles in the water. It just really preserves them. You know, they're not sticking, they're not steaming hot, and they're just so easy to work with. Okay, look at this. Look at what we got, y'all. And you should be proud of yourself, everybody that's out there cooking with me, because you just cooked lasagna Gina Young style, and you did it great. I'm so proud of you all. So take a look. Come take a look. Make sure that you shingle it. I can put another, I feel like I can put another noodle. So I'm going to put one more. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So now I want to put some mozzarella. Mozzarella provolone. And honestly, I really don't see people using an orange cheese for lasagna. But if that's what you like, absolutely you can use it. Guess what, y'all? I just seen a fly that killed a fly. I killed it. One of the flies in the window. There's another oh one. Oh my gosh, there it is. What the heck? He told me he got it, y'all. You know he, y'all, he a lie. He a lie in the heart. Uh, ain't no hole in the window, boy. <laughs> ain't no hole in the window. He tell you anything. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, y'all. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Okay, so that's, that's going to be my last layer. So what I want to do, I want to take this last of the meat, just throw it on top. I only got a little bit, but that's all I need. It'll spread out. 
we have beautiful I'm so happy and the last layer will be cheeks okay you put cheese on the top but you got to cover this with foil for it to cook okay if you don't cover it with foil guess what's going to happen the top of your cheese will get golden brown it'll get burnt all right we don't want that to happen while this is cooking so you cover it with foil and that won't happen but then at some point of the cooking process, guess what we gotta do? We gotta take the foil off so that we can get the meat or the cheese nice golden brown, okay? Because you want that golden brown crispiness to the top and the edges of the cheese, right? Absolutely you do. Okay, so take a look. Oh wait, somebody say, yes ma'am, Gina, you did it right, right now. Got me all excited over here. Okay, look at that. Clean up as you go. Clean up as you go. It's just going to help you in the long run. Okay? Nice amount of cheese. You got to be cheesy. We're going to put aluminum foil and parsley on the top. Let's get this into our oven on the top rack. We just made lasagna. And it, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to let it rest. No matter how, I know y'all going to be like, Gina, let's cut into it. I can't wait. We're going to let it rest because I want y'all to see the beautiful layers that can form. Okay, where's my parsley? Okay, parsley to make it nice and pretty. Cover it with foil into the oven. If you over stuffed your pan and you feel like your pan is over bubbling over and you have an aluminum pan, you can bend the pan up like that. I've had to do it millions of times when I've made lasagna. That's another reason why I like these pans. Okay, so I'm going to cover this with foil. This is going into the oven, and at some point in time, we're going to be making garlic bread. When you put your foil on, don't make it so tight like this, because guess what? When you take this off, your cheese is going to be stuck to it. So what I like to do is, uh, I, I like to call it the puffing technique, where we go in. Look at my hand. You see my hand under there? I'm kind of puffing the foil up on purpose so that my foil is not ever stuck to the cheese. Okay? That's what I'm looking for. You see it's nice and puffy. Okay? It's not setting on the cheese. Okay? If you feel like you're not sure, you know, go under it. Go back under it. Okay? You want the foil puffed up. Let's get this into the oven just like so and dinner will be served after this is done. You want to make a salad, make your salad. You want to make garlic bread, make your garlic bread. You want some Kool-Aid, you better make yourself. We're having fun here at the Young's house. We're going to be able to talk about all kinds of stuff, y'all. Um, when I come around, can we talk, okay? We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff. If you have a topic or something that you'd love to talk about, something you think is funny, that we can talk about um, anything. Write it down and remember when I'm looking at the messages to say what you want to talk about and we can just chit chat for the rest of the evening while we're waiting on our food to cook, okay? Okay, you said lay your cheese anyway, save some of the sauce. Uh, oh yeah, that's Sonia. She said, I can do two or three layers. Yes, yes, yes. And if you have extra sauce left over, Save it and use it for something. You can always use it for something. Like Ron says, he can get him some bread and eat that sauce. You know, because you can and it's that flavor. Okay? So now, let's take this time. Clean up a little bit as you go. When you clean up, you, you save your nerves. <laughs> you save yourself from being nervous, from being, you know, stressed out. It just really helps out in the long run. Okay? So... Let me clean up and I'm coming around and we can talk. So now if y'all will tell me the time, let me tell me what the time is, Dakota. Um, 5.30. Okay, so Terry says, I love it all. I love you, Terry. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that you're enjoying yourself. This is awesome, right? It is. This is awesome. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. All right, let's put all our goodies away for now. 
Hold my spices. Put my foil up. What time is it? 5.30. 530? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'd like to say, so it's 5.30. I'd like to say at 6.30. Maybe a little earlier. We'll come in and we'll take a peek. Most likely the lasagna will be done by 6.30. But what we'll do, we'll take the foil off and we'll turn around and let that cheese get nice, beautiful, a little golden brown. If you want it real golden brown, then you let it cook until it gets, you know, a little bit darker. Um, and then throw your garlic bread into the oven and don't, don't overcook your garlic bread. Make you up a salad if you want. I'm gonna wash my hands and I wanna make up some Kool-Aid. Okay, so that's what I'm getting ready to do. I was do. looking at that Kool-Aid thing. You was looking <laughs> at it? Okay. So, um, that's my plans. Where's the Kool-Aid picture that I put away the other day? To the right. It's to the right? Okay. Okay, Miss Patsy, how you doing? Yes, Drew, that's on my list too, says Lorraine. Oh, you're Central Standard Time. Okay, Gina, show us Prince and Polo, says Lynette. Okay, Miss Karen says, hi, Mildred. Sorry, I thought I missed you earlier. Hope your hand is doing better. One hour from now. Yes, Mildred. Mildred, how you feeling today? Beth says, Gina, can you make seafood lasagna with Alfredo sauce? You can. Absolutely you can. Thank you, Gina. You have to go now, and that's Karen Somerville. Everything was good and tasty. Thank you for coming in, Karen. I appreciate you being here. Kool-Aid. The blue pine, please. Okay. <laughs> no tang. Oh, I love tang. My goodness. I love tang. Yes, I do. Prince, what are you doing, honey? You okay? <laughs> I love, love, love tang. Yes, I do. I, I have um, a pantry filled with tang. It's tang, tang and country time lemonade. <laughs> That's what we have, the country time lemonade. T you know, believe it or not, tang has a lot of vitamin C in it, y'all. Did y'all know that? Okay, let's clean it up a little bit. Got the oven on. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna chit chat. Let's make some Kool-Aid first. I got my house shoes on. I'm nice and comfortable. All right, got some water in here. Oh, you, you, I like Sunny D. I like Sunny D. My husband don't like it. He says it's too thick. He's like, why is it so thick? <laughs> yeah, the Sunny D, he say, why is it so thick? I'm like, I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> All right, let me get another thing of Kool-Aid. I'm pretty sure I have some. The color, I need you to grab. Oh, here it is. There it is. I'm so used to telling him I need to even grab something, but it was right in front of me. Perfect amount, y'all. Okay, so let me get my stirrer. Get some water. I can't wait to make this for your family. Thanks, Gina Whiteness. Oh, listen, you're very welcome. Here, all I want from you is you just let me know after you make it how it turned out, and what your family said about the recipe, what you thought about the recipe. That's what I love most. Most of all, when I make recipes, I love to hear, um, after you all make them, what you think about the recipe. I love to hear it. Okay, y'all, let me get my water in here. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, okay. Well, mix this Kool-Aid up just like so. And so the drink of the day is Kool-Aid. I believe this is a tropical punch. I don't know what the other kind was that I just put in there. I It could be tropical punch because normally I buy the same kind. Just give it a nice stir. All right. 
Okay, all right. Everybody doing okay? Are you writing down topics that you'd like to talk about? Questions that you'd like to ask me? Get your questions written down. Get your topics written down that we can talk about. We're going to talk. We're going to talk because we ain't got nothing but time. We got to wait on this food to cook, right? Now, um, show them the puppies. Somebody said that they want to see them. Uh, they're asleep, y'all. I mean, they are, no, no, don't, don't bother them. They can still see them, but if they're asleep, we ain't gonna wake them up. Just show them the dogs. They can still see them later. Just show them the dogs right now. They're asleep, y'all. They sleeping good. And when they're, when they're sleeping, uh, because I, I don't like to bother them when they're really enjoying and relaxing, you know, themselves down because they're always so at it. They're always, you know, the noises, the um, sounds from uh, maybe somebody's in the driveway, somebody's at the doorbell, the camera alarms and stuff, and, and different sounds always keeps them on edge. They're always like protecting the house. And when they lay down, I like them to get a good rest. They've been up since early this morning. Me and my husband got up first thing this morning. We had coffee and we sat out back on the couch and the dogs was with us. It was hot outside and this is like their first nap. So I'm just gonna let them take a nap for now, okay? And um, of course, a little later, they'll get up. And when they get up, I'm gonna show you all the dogs, okay? I promise, I ain't gonna bother them right now. Let them rest. Okay, got the Kool-Aid made. Can you open the refrigerator for me? I'm coming around. We're going to talk if that's okay with you all. Kool-Aid is in there. You can throw this away and get this. Guess what I want done now. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ugh. Is what's supposed to happen? <laughs> I'm thinking about Saj saying, you gangster today. <laughs> Ain't no way. That's so funny. Yes, yes, yes. Getting the ads now, yes. I don't, but I guess you could. What, what are you guys talking about? I'll be there for real this time, Gina, for dinner. <laughs> I'll be there for real, Gina. Gina, gangster in that kitchen. Quit saying that, y'all. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. <laughs> Latika said, I want a biggum plate. <laughs> a biggums plate. <laughs> It is. It's a new feature where you can have them play during your live. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody out there ever complained about getting commercials when you used to watch TV. And now it's like the world wants to complain just because there's a commercial that comes on the live. It doesn't make sense to me. It's like everybody wants something to complain about. That's what it seems like to me. It is a throwback picture, Durs. <laughs> I love it. Y'all, I can't remember. Here, put this away. You make sure you're looking for that fly, okay? Because you, you didn't get it. Oh, Mexican cornbread. Mexican cornbread is delicious. I know how to make it, y'all. I know. It's just a few seconds. It's like, what are you complaining about? It's just a few seconds. Like, I'm not leaving. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to be right here when that ad is over. Somebody asked Gina. That's Lorraine. balls oh my goodness I don't know when the last time 
I tasted pop, when is the last time? I don't know when the last time I tasted popcorn balls, but when I was younger, I loved them. What kind of meat did you use? Did you use Italian sausage and ground meat? Nearly. Um, I know, Debbie. I know, Debbie. I totally understand where you all are coming from, but, you know. Um, I use ground beef, one pound of ground beef, and then I use one pound of breakfast sausage, ground breakfast sausage. It was an Italian sausage. It was, um, a, well, I mean, if you wanted to know the name brand, the name brand was Bob Evans breakfast sausage. And it comes, it's ground up, like ground beef is, and it comes in a tube. Um, you know, they have Jimmy Dean's, they have Italian sausage, um, they have a sweet Italian sausage. Any, look, if you wanted to use chorizo, absolutely you could. You could use chorizo and it would be delicious. Yeah, yeah, breakfast sausage. Have you ever had, I've never had mushroom pie. Never, never had mushroom pie. Uh-uh, but I tell you what, a little bit, I love mushrooms so much. I know that I would totally love the mushroom pie. Oh, I know I would. Okay, let me see. I tried to find your past videos yesterday, but couldn't find anything but was recent. Okay, let me see what you're talking about. I, I think people, l l let me see. Okay, let me see what you're talking about here. Let's see. Let me go to my channel. Because I have it all here right at my fingertip. Okay, so right now I'm into a year ago. Okay. Okay. And I keep scrolling. Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Okay. This is two years ago. Okay. And, and you probably can see it two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. So now I'm going to keep scrolling and see if the comment is true. Gina, I was looking on your page and I only seen recent videos. I knew it wasn't true. Okay. So now right here, three years ago, three years ago, three years ago. Y'all, I have over 1,500 videos. I have over 1,500 videos. This video, how to make delicious baked salmon. Three years ago, how many views was on it, when it was published, it's all here. But now, when you go to my channel, let's just talk about it. Let's just say you're on Gina Young's channel. This is my channel because that's my banner, right? If you just scroll up from here, you're only going to get about 10 videos, right? But if you click on the vid, this is home. This is videos. This is shorts. This is live. You're gonna see the store. If you click on the video, hold on. If you click on the videos right there, then you can go up and look at all the videos that I just saw, all the way to the first video that I ever made in 2017, okay? They're all there. They're all there, but whatever device you're on, you can't just be on the home page. You're only gonna get about 10. You gotta press that you wanna see more or press videos. When you press videos, you're gonna see all the way up to three, four years ago, okay? <laughs> November, 2017. Thank you, Sonya. <laughs> I have, Sonya. I mean, Saj, I have, Saj. Yes, I have. <laughs> I love it. And, and I, 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 
I need you all to take the time to, um, like, look, look for the playlist before you just think something's not there. Because it is there. I'm always going to have it there, and I'm putting in more work, even more work. Gina has recipes for every day of the year. I do. I do. Thank you, Ron. I do, pretty much. Beverly Palmer. Okay, great. Belinda says, hello, Gina. I'm just now checking in from Charlotte, North Carolina. Welcome. Okay, okay, Mildred says, Gina, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'd be in my Flintstone car using my feet to... That is so funny when you say that. My Flintstone car using my feet to start up the car and brakes and use the elephant's trunk to fill up my car for gas. Why is that the funniest thing ever? It's so funny. Because I remember the Dakota. Do you know anything about Flintstones? The like cartoon, yeah. He 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 kind of, but he don't really the know. Cartoon, like the case, yeah. Like, huh? Yeah. You so you know? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to put it on my. Don't you don't have to put it on my thing. But uh, I can just picture. You know how he. You know how their feet would like be like. -da 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 -da. You know their feet would be patting that ground, boy. I bet you the bat the bottom of their feet was black. <laughs> from that ground. I bet you the bottom of their feet was hard. <laughs> yeah, the caveman. At least. <laughs> Man. They, it, that was the cutest cartoon ever, though. It really was. <laughs> Clean those feet before you get in her house. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, they so cute. Y'all, here it is. Dakota just pulled it up. <laughs> oh man, it's so cute. That had to be the one of the best cartoons ever. I'm so serious. Hi Janice, how are you? Uh, Nicole Stucco is laughing. It was. It was such a cute cartoon. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk rock rock feet. <laughs> Mildred. <laughs> Mildred. <laughs> It's just so funny. I'm going to have a bowl so you can wipe your feet off before you come in. Because I'm pretty sure it'll be a nice bowl of cold water. Because I'm pretty sure your feet going to be burning <laughs> after getting in that car. <laughs> Chaser, hello. Mildred's laughing. So let's talk about favorite cartoons, y'all. Favorite cartoons. One that I used to, yo, I got, I, I feel like I got the best cartoon. I feel like I got the best cartoon. I'm going to save mine for last. Let me see what y'all liked. Wilma, yeah. yeah. I didn't forget the Jetsons. Donna, that's a great one. Trans, Transformers. How, that's a great one. I forgot about the Transformers. Let's see, a hog was their garbage. Was it? I don't remember that. Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry and the Smurfs. Scooby-Doo, says Latika. Oh, the Proud Family. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the Proud Family. It, it, oh, here's the thing. Proud Family is, is, is not like the cartoons that I watch because I'm much older, I, I'm much older than you. <laughs> so Proud Families is what my kids watch. The older kids, that's a little bit older than Dakota. But uh, Proud Family, that's a good one. Super Friends, Roadrunner. Okay, Clark, that was a good one. Beep, beep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tiny Toons, such Pixie Dust. I have no clue what Pixie Dust was. Um, I remember my I had a My Little Pony. You did? I had a Thundercats, that's a great Wood, Wood, Woody Woodpecker, Bugs Bunny. Oh, y'all got some good ones. Do y'all want me to tell y'all what mine was? Yogi Bear. Yeah, Alvin and the Chickmunks. Stephanie, yeah. that's a great. Tom and Jerry. Uh, 
Y'all, y'all coming up with some good ones. Okay, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That is a good one. Pink Panther. Oh, I can't, I can't remember the song, the Pink Panther. Oh, I know it. I know it. I'm not going to do it on here because I ain't allowed. I know it. I know it. I don't know what Top Cat is. Never heard of it. Strawberry Shortcake. Mr. Magoo. Alyssa, what a great one. Alvin. I see you said Alvin. <laughs> Archer. I don't know what Archer is. Inspector Gadget. That's a great one. Let me see. What's this one? Garfield. Mary. That's a great one. Hon you said Hong Kong. I, I don't know what that is, Cat Slap. Underdog. Charlie Brown. Garfield and Heathcliff. The Pixie Dust. I don't remember the Pixie Dust. Kathy. Porky the Pig. Oh, wow. Y'all got some Clifford, Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> Y'all got Cartoon Network. Y'all got some good ones. Y'all got some good. So let me tell y'all what mine's was. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess y'all tell me. It was this considered a sitcom? Turn that water off, Dakota. Was this considered a? Let me let me take this off, y'all. At the sound, y'all be able to hear the background noise now. Um was, hold on, was Fraggle, y'all check me out, I got the best one, was Fraggle Rock a cartoon or was it a sitcom, what was it, the Jetsons, Nancy, that's a great, Mr. Wilson, Goof Troop, <laughs> ah, that's a great one, the Osmonds, Robert, that's Pixie Oh, that's Pixie Dust? Okay, he just showed me Pixie Dust. Okay, it was a sitcom. Okay, Fraggle Rock was my thing, y'all. I thought Fraggle Rock was the cutest thing since sliced bread. I thought they were so cute. They were so much fun. Schoolhouse Rock, oh, that's a good Popeye. Y'all, I thought Popeye was so handsome. And I thought I did. I thought he was so cute. And I thought, um, uh, well, Olive Oil, I thought she was the cutest thing ever. She was so tiny. She was this skinny. <laughs> Y'all, she was really this skinny. Oh, man. That was a great, that was a great um, cartoon. Fraggle Walk. Okay, you said that's a good one. Okay, okay. I thought Fraggle Rock was everything. I loved how they, how they made it. It was just great. Oh, Sonya just said a great one. She said Rugrats. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was, yeah, Sue. Sue says it was like Muppet, like Shazam. Wow. Uh-huh. See, I heard about Shazam. I heard about Shazam, but I was a baby. You know, I was a baby. <laughs> the Muppets, Dexter Laboratory, I know about that. You said Little Tommy Pickles is the best. I don't know Little Tommy Pickles. Space Ace, never heard of it. Power Rangers, that's a great one. Oh, y'all got some great ones. See, I love when we have great topics. Great, fun, clean topics. This is my type of fun. Okay, you said cast your cares away, worries for another day. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. Wow, how interesting. Oh, Mighty Mouse, how cute, Susie Q. Flintstones, GoBots. I, I don't know. I don't know about GoBots or Felix the Cat. Tommy Pickles was on Rugrats. Oh, okay. okay. DuckTales, okay. Anyone remember the Great Space Coaster? Chanel, I don't. Mighty Mouse, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Reading Rainbow. Okay, Donna says, LOL, I had a crush on Mickey. <laughs> Aw, Courage the Cowardly, Cowardly Dog. Never heard of it. Never heard. <laughs> Yo, I used to, I used to um, really like the uh, Punky Brewster show. I liked the Punky Brewster show. I wanted to dress like her. I never did dress like her. But I was like, man, I, I just loved the show. I loved the Punky Brewster show. Uh, Jabberjaw. Okay, I kind of feel like I remember that. K 
Casper the Friendly Ghost, Renee. Okay, you said on Papa, you like Wimpy. He's always pay you on Tuesday for a hamburger. Oh, how nice. You remember Courage the, cat, the Cowardly Dog says Cat Slap. I don't. Let's remember when Morgan Freeman was on Electric Company? I don't. Rainbow Bright, yo, oh, Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright was nice. Door to Explorer, that's a new one. <laughs> yo, listen, remember Lassie? Remember, I see you, underdog, Robert. <laughs> Oh, you do? You remember last seat? Okay, Team Cowboys, how you doing? Woody Woodpecker, I see. Let's see. Um, hello, I have been busy lately, but I'm here. Welcome in, Team Cowboys. How you doing? You say, yes, you remember last Speed Racer. I feel like I've heard of Speed Racer. I've, I've heard of it. <laughs> Arthur the Magic School Bus. I don't remember that. Oh, I see Alyssa. I'm not even going to read your comment. Alyssa, I ain't even going to read the comment. Uh-uh, I ain't into that. <laughs> Old Yeller. Oh, yeah. The Archies. Wow. Captain Kangaroo, I know about that. Speedy Gonzalez, I know about that. Oh, Sonya said a good one. Barney. Remember Barney? <laughs> Y'all, Barney would come on there. My goodness. Josie. See, I don't know what that is. J.P. Patches. What is that? Oh, 16 Candles. That was that was a good one. That was a good Purple Dino. Oh, the Purple Dinosaur. I never heard of the Gummy Bears. Just the candy, you know. Oh. Oh, no. Is that what it was called? Um... I thought it was called, hold on, L let me see who's saying that. You said it's the cartoon? Nancy's saying it's the cartoon. I, I thought it was called Fat Albert. That's a movie, huh? Really? <laughs> Care Bears, oh, the Care Bears was so cute. Romper Room, I don't know about that. Oh, Bugs Bunny made you laugh? Captain Kangaroo. Oh, that's a good one, Christopher. Howard the Duck. I feel like I remember Gumby. <laughs> Was Gumby like the green thing? Oh, you say yes to Lassie. <laughs> oh, no, but there was one when we was younger. There's a cartoon version? Yeah, no, no, it was with real people. Family and fa I don't know what that is, Ron. The Muppet Babies, that was always exciting to me because I, I thought they were so cute as babies. Oh, this. Nope, not that. That's the new version, Dakota. Oh, the green thing, yeah. Can, oh, what it, Dakota, please get the fly. Open the back door and see if the fly will go up. Because that fly going to drive me nuts, y'all. Oh, X-Man, says Kiki. Lost in space, never heard of it. The Great Space Coaster was with the orange money and teenagers. I never heard of it. Did you, you get it? Okay, he could, y'all, he claimed he got the fly. I don't know if it's true this time. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> That's a great one. The Hawk. I think I know what Puff Puff is was it puff the magic dragon was it puff the magic dragon i don't know powder puff i don't know about that you didn't miss anything penny how you doing welcome in we're just talking about um um uh, like cartoons and Childhood uh, shows. I feel like I remember Captain Caveman. Buck Rogers, never heard of it. Mr. Rogers, I've heard of it. Y'all remember Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> 
Yo, he used to do that dance like this. Da, da, da. I, 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 can't, I can't sing it. But he used to do that dance like this. In the front, in the back, in the front, in the back. <laughs> do y'all remember that? Except for his arms would be down lower. But I got my arms up here so y'all can see. <laughs> you say, yeah, Mary. <laughs> but as a kid, it was such a great show, you know? Oh, Raymond, he said, come to the magic school bus. I remember that. You, <laughs> Sonia, Sonia says she having flashbacks. I know. Let's see, Gina, remember the two women that used to be in, I, I don't, I don't remember that. Oh, wait a minute. I, I don't know. Tell me more so I can, I, I don't know. Was that my Holy King saying, or, or who said that? That used to be in a swing. I am stumped. I have no clue. Magic, oh, you said magic school bus twice. Okay, misunderstood, okay. Scooby-Doo says Penny. Franklin, was Franklin a, um, he was like a, a, was he like a green frog or something? Lamb, y'all, listen, who's, who, who, somebody brought back a memory that I loved. Lamb Chop, Rhonda Prelo, you had to say it. Lamb, I thought Lamb Chop was the cutest thing ever. Oh, Lamb Chop had that song. This is a song that never ends. Oh, man. And you, you know what they would say. I thought it was the catchiest song. Pippi Longstocking. What a great one. <laughs> that was a great one. Lamb Chops was the cutest. Singing this is a song that never ends. Oh my goodness. The Teletubbies, what a great one. Uh oh, the green smoothie says, Little Rascals. Come on, that's a top one, y'all. The Little Rascals, that is a top one. Aw, thank you, Exploring Food. Franklin was a turtle, Captain Planet. I kind of remember, but I don't. What'd you say? Bugs Bunny? Yeah. Incredible Hawk, Batman and Robin. Yeah, Batman and Robin, they did have a cartoon. Gina, did I miss your favorite? What favorite? Oh, Casper was good. It was yeah, Mildred says, yes, Pee Wee. <laughs> yes, y'all. What great memories, y'all. Y'all remember, here's the thing. When I was a kid, at least, let's just talk about when I was a kid, which was a while, a while back. But anyways, um, there used to be days that we would sit down as a family and be sitting waiting on a sitcom to come on. And we would watch it after the sitcom went off. It was time to go to bed, you know, get ready for school or whatever. But we had things to look forward to during the week on monday nights this might have came on you know wednesday nights this might have came on uh on the weekend twilight zone would come on y'all oh my goodness there was so much to look forward to as a kid and i can just remember the night owl and the glasses like it was just it was just things that you really got to sit down as a family and do and enjoy versus. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. It's still cooking. I check it at 6 30. But I, I just feel I just feel like nap WWF. Oh, that's a great one. Wonder Twins, that's a great, Wonder Years. <laughs> that's a great one. <laughs> Thank you, Max. A 
or or McKaylee, uh, McKaylee. When I'm tired, when I'm tired, I will. I'll I'll just take one of my curls and turn it. I am actually very tired today. I don't know if y'all can see it in my eyes, but I'm extremely tired. I feel like I didn't get good sleep last night. But then I can also sit here and say that uh, me and my husband woke up early this morning. I'm talking about like, and there was no reason for us to get up. And I was up five this morning. I wanted to turn off. Um, I wanted to, to turn off something that we had out on the front porch. And then I wanted to take the dogs out to use the bathroom. And my husband heard that I was up. Oh, no. My husband thought that Dakota had to go to school morning, this morning. So I'm telling him, I'm like, it's Saturday. So we just got up, got some coffee. But I am so tired. And this is something that I do when I'm tired uh, with my hair. Now, um, I don't normally do it with my hair if I'm not, if I'm, if, if I'm where my blanket is, I twirl my blanket. My blanket has strings on it, and I like to just twirl my blanket. But if I don't have my blanket, then my hair my hair can satisfy me. <laughs> you know, I love a good blanket. I love to cuddle up with my blanket and just rub on those strings like this. It's something I've always did, even as a kid. I had a favorite blanket. My dad would take it away from me <laughs> and hide it in his closet because I would be sucking my thumb and twiddling that blanket like this. Oh man, and that was the, that, listen, I, that's when I was relaxed. I love, love, love to twirl my blanket like this and suck my thumb. I suck my thumb so much to where I had a cut in the middle of my thumb from my bottom teeth. You know, my bottom teeth put a permanent cut, but I didn't care. I didn't care. But when I got into high school, I said, ain't no way I'm gonna be sucking my thumb. You know, I'm 15 years old. I said, uh-uh. I stopped sucking my thumb cold turkey. That's why I have an overbite. You know, y'all can see that I have an overbite. But, um, and my dad said, the day I came home, I was sucking my thumb. The day I came home from the hospital, I was five pounds sucking my thumb, y'all. <laughs> my dad said he could hold me in the palm of his hand and my legs would hang over his wrist. That's how big I was. He said that first day I came home, I was sucking my thumb. He put hot sauce on my thumb. He'd do everything to try to get me to stop. And all it took for me was to get into high school and say, I ain't sucking my thumb no more. And I stopped. But I can't get rid of the blanket, y'all. I love a good blanket to twist it and turn it like this. Oh. Yes. Oh, you are. Uh, okay. Uh, Mildred said, Gina, you are right. <laughs> Care Bear. Yo, I th so I told y'all about that I had the strawberry shortcake doll. When, oh, you can smell yours? Oh, you must be cooking with me. You said you can smell it? You used to suck your thumb too? Yep. Oh, you was, you was like Linus with the blankie. Oh, me too. I'm like that too today. Yo, my, the blanket that I, 21 minutes, thank you. The blanket that I have right now, my husband makes a joke at it. He'd be like, uh-uh. He'd be like, don't put that thing on me. <laughs> He'd just be playing, but it's so funny when he says it. He like, that thing look funny. Because <laughs> it's got a bunch of strings that I've taken the strings, and I've put the string into knots. And then I take the string and rub it on my face. My husband's like, yep, yeah, you're nuts. <laughs> he do, he say, you nuts. <laughs> Oh, you was, Terry. That's cute. Oh, you said nine pounds. Okay. My husband was a 10-pound baby, y'all. Is that what he said? Is that what he said? What did he say? Did he say he was a 10-pound baby? He was nine. Or he was nine pounds? I was five pounds. Dakota was 10 pounds. Bionic. Oh, y'all, here's a good one. Bionic woman, that's a great one. But here, here's one. Do y'all remember uh -huh, the Soul Train? That was everything, right? So listen to this. Punky Brewster, yes. Um, 
Uh, oh, you made me lose thought. My goodness. Uh, American Gladiators, what a great one. Ooh, I was getting ready to say, and I, it just slipped my mind. I don't know what the heck I was going to say. 38 pounds and three feet tall. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. I had to read that like, what? Man, what was I going to say? Hold on, y'all. I really got to think about this. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to say. Oh, what a great one, Team Cowboys. That's a great one. I know. I know everything about that. <laughs> Different strokes. That was great. Uh-huh. So, so now, do y'all remember the shrinking woman? Remember she fell in the sink? <laughs> Not honey, I shrunk the kids. Wasn't there something that was the, with the shrinking woman? Am I wrong? It, hold on. Hold on. Was it, was there a shrinking woman, incredible shrinking woman? And then there was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, right? Knight Rider, what a great one. Okay, y'all are saying yes. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, everybody's saying yes. Incredible Shrinking Woman. I thought that was so interesting. Incredible Shrinking Woman. I, I feel like I can remember my mom watching that. I feel like I remember that. I don't know. Alyssa says, oh, yeah. The Lillian told, I don't know what that is, Pixie does. Lo oh, remember the love connection? <laughs> wow. Exploring foods. I don't know what that is. Land of the Lost. I feel like I know what that is. Pink Panther. Latika, that's a great one. Small Wonder. I feel like I remember that, kind of. Sort of, kind of. Highway to Heaven. See, I kind of remember that. Dukes of Hazard. Uh-huh. Facts of Life. A-Team. Wow. What about uh, MASH? MASH. Oh, yes, Mildred. And they live in little tiny holes. I wanted to sing it. <laughs> yes, Mildred. The littles, and they lived in little tiny holes. Oh, Murder, She Wrote. That's a good one. In living color, y'all. Mash put you to sleep. <laughs> um, in living color, uh, in living color came out, and J Lo was on there dancing, and I was like, I can do all them dances, y'all. I'll be practicing. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be getting those dances as soon as she came out dancing. I was dancing with them. I I didn't know the routine, but I was always dancing with them. In living color was great. Gilligan's Island, that's a great one. Matlock, Fantasy Island. I don't know what White Shadow is. The 50-foot woman, Gwen, I don't know what that is. Lily Tolman starred in The Incredible. Oh, is that right? I don't know what Toothless is. Oh, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got some great ones. That's a good one, Latika. Oh, Mama's Family. Benson. Uh-huh. Wonder Woman. Fire Be <laughs> uh. Beverly Hillbillies, y'all. That was a great show. That was a great show. And they had uh, uh, oil and Texas tea. <laughs> Carol, y'all, Carol Burnett was so funny. I Dream of Jeannie. Good times in the Jeffersons. Cheers, Alf. Alf's a good one. Charlie's Angels. Okay. The Golden Girls. My, <laughs> my husband told me he liked the Golden Girls house. He said when he was younger, he used to like all the plants that they had in their living room. <laughs> he said when he was little, he loved the plants that they had in their living room. 
I dream a genie. Bewitched. That's a great one. Oh, but somebody said, what, what was the one? Car Carol Burnett. I seen uh, Carol Burnett getting interviewed on CNN. It was such a great interview. And I, yes, Chaser, the, yes, Chaser, that's a great one. Rhonda Prelo, that's a great one. I don't remember that, the green smoothie. Um, oh, crap, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Y'all, I'm so tired, I don't, I don't know what I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? Dukes of Hazard. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I don't know, but I kind of remember. I kind of remember that. Fantasy Island, Tales of the Dark Side. I, uh, you're Okay, let me see what your dentist asked you. Oh, Marsha. Yeah, you can tell if you have one, if you're... You see how my top teeth is in front of my, even though I've had braces, my teeth are straight, but I still have an overbite like this. Like uh, my, these teeth were pushed back. These teeth were pushed up from doing this for so many years, but I don't mind it because people can't see it unless I tell them that's what I got, you know. Happy days, the fawns. Three's company was everything, y'all. Jack the Ripper. Jack Tripper. So here's the thing. Everybody's saying all of these, but Brady Bunch, y'all, he the first one to say it. Brady Bunch was everything. Brady Bunch was everything. Oh, cat slap. That's a good one. Not see, not sure if I see your message, Kiki. Okay, let me see. I can't see everybody's message. Let me see. 13 minutes. Thank you, Ron. One day at a time. Oh, three's company. Yeah, I'm not, I'm trying to go back, but I don't see your, your message. Mary Tyler Moore show. Dakota, I need something sweet. That's my sugar is getting low. Um, oh, yeah, give me that. Give me that half of that cookie that your dad had. I did too, Sonya. Oh, Charles in charge. How about that? That's a great one. Saved by the bell. Uh-huh. <laughs> Facts of life, uh-huh. Oh, I got a good one. What, what was the one with Nell Carter? Nell Carter and Joey? Huh. Come on, y'all, tell me. Nell Carter, give me a break. Okay. Alice, Alice was a good one. Yo. Joey, I loved Joey when I was younger. And then I seen that he had all these brothers. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like the whole family ex? And they all look like Joey. <laughs> I was like, man, that's exciting to be their parents and have all of your kids be actors. That was absolutely amazing. I'm like, they all look like Joey in living color. I don't know what eight is enough is. I'm just eating this real quick because um, my sugar's dropping. Oh, that's so funny, Derek. That's so funny, Derek. Who's the boss? Uh-huh. Now, I went to, um, I worked at Walmart a long time ago. I worked with a lady 
And um, her name was Cricket. And, uh, I mean, that wasn't her real name, but it was her nickname. One of her first cousins was uh, the guy from, oh, what was the show? Hold on, I gotta look. Let me see. The name of the show was, let's see, Terrell, how you doing? The name of the show was Who's the Boss? So the guy, that was the dad on Who's the Boss? Her first cousin was him. And I thought that was really interesting to know that. Professor Ogilvy. Adam's family is a good one. Heart to heart? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Tony Danza. Uh-huh. That was her first cousin. Nail Carter. Yes. Nine more minutes. Okay. <laughs> Living single. Wow. Yeah, Tony Danza was his name. That was her first cousin. And uh, me and her worked at Walmart together. She was much older than me. I mean, I was there in my 20s working. In my 20s and 30s, I was working there. And uh, she, she had to be, I don't know, maybe in her 60s or 70s. And she loved me so much. She loved me. She loved my family. She was so much fun to work with. And like I said, her nickname was Cricket, but that was her cousin. She, she always said, Tony Danza's my cousin. Welcome back, Carter. Yeah. Notsland General Hospital. How about that? Nicole, don't sit there and eat that whole thing, okay? Huh? I, I don't want any. How you gonna tell me I'm gonna eat some? I don't want none. You done burnt the popcorn. You burnt the popcorn. Young and the Restless. I, I never, I, there was a point in time where I watched the soap operas the days of our lives, I watched it for a little bit. There were, yeah, you're right, Team Cowboys. There were so many great shows. So many great shows, and now I just don't, I, I mean, I don't know. I can't really speak and say that there's no good shows anymore. Because I, I really don't know, because I don't watch it. You know, I don't watch TV like that. I watch YouTube. Oh, Mary, Mary, see, Mary says there isn't any, Gina. <laughs> You're a soap opera nut. Oh, you still watch. Is that right? I can remember. Oh, you love, yeah, Jamaica, uh-huh. He did, he burnt the popcorn, y'all, and he, he put some, uh, some powdered sugar on it. He mixing it up right now. It's burnt. He talking about it ain't burnt. It's burnt. It's not. Twilight Zone. I got it. I don't know what the monster is. Where's my lip gloss? I can't live without my lip gloss, y'all. He man and Sheila. Shira. Twilight Zone be dropping knowledge, is that right? <laughs> See, and you can't live without chapstick, yeah. I know they used to have a uh, Nate dog that used to come in here. He would hate when I would put my lip gloss on. I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it drive you nuts that my lips is chapped. <laughs> If my lips is chapped, I got to put something on them. 
Oh, the Beverly Hill, but yeah, it's great. The Adams Family, Wednesday was the ball, so that's cute. I know, uh, I don't like, um, oh, hot sauce, she said put hot sauce on your, um, on your uh, popcorn. He can't hear, y'all, I think he got earphones in. He ain't paying me no attention. And that popcorn almost gone. Uh, 3D movies. I remember, I don't remember it on TV. But I do remember, uh, I do remember um, 3D movies in a theater where you would have to get a pair of glasses. You put them on when you go to the movie theater and the movie was like it was in your face. I never, I never... I never put hot sauce on popcorn either, never. But we put butter and powdered sugar. Three D movies are fun, okay. Nine nine oh I think you're saying nine oh one two nine oh two one oh. Oh, you put hot sauce on Doritos? <laughs> I know. Is it? Terry said hot sauce on popcorn is good. Dakota, put And you still watch it. Tar Tarzan was great. I just have to say Tarzan was a great I don't know what rescue 911 castor oil <laughs> people are saying try it the hot sauce is good on there wash your hands and pick up that powder that powder that's on the uh, on the counter because we don't want ants to come in if you got powdered sugar Baywatch? Wow, Baywatch. I don't know how long ago that was. Now, hot sauce. Somebody just said it. Hot sauce on pork skins. Now, that's good. That is good. Family Feud. That's a good one. Okay, so I am... Um, Okay, I'm sorry, I was looking at a message. Oh, Pamela Anderson, yeah. They do, they make hot pork skins now. They make them barbecued and just regular. They make the cracklings, and it's all good, right? The gong show, I don't remember that. Okay, I'm gonna check my lasagna, okay? Uh, Ron, tell me, is it time? Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, let's go ahead, we're gonna check our lasagna. And it most likely is done. Okay, so um, we're gonna be taking the foil off of the lasagna, off of the lasagna. I'm gonna throw some garlic bread into the oven. The garlic bread's probably gonna cook about 12 minutes. And I really do want to let my uh, lasagna rest for a minute before we eat it so it can set up. And, and like I, I always like to really stress it out. If you don't let it rest, the lasagna, when you cut it, it's going to go splat on your plate. We want it to sit up nice and tall so you can see the layers. So we have to let it rest on the counter for a little bit. And we're going to do that today. All right, so let me flip the camera around. Time is up. Thank you. Here, you're gonna have to get this. I'm gonna wash my hands, y'all. Okay. Uh, 
All right, let me get my hands clean. What, what you got going on there? You gotta get all that up and get this. Okay, um. Okay, let me grab my garlic bread. When you're taking your lasagna out the oven, y'all, I can't stress enough how much I want y'all to be careful, okay? Be careful. Here, go ahead and give me the microphone. We'll put a microphone on. Oh. Okay, it's on. It's on. It doesn't, the light doesn't come on. It's working. Okay. All right, the microphone. It's working. The light doesn't come on anymore. Okay. So now, let's look at the reveal. Y'all, listen. This couldn't be more gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let me know if y'all can hear me still. All right? Let, hold on. Hold on, y'all. warmed up. 
about 10 minutes I'm taking y'all out back I know I think it was my holy king that was asking uh, what did my husband get me for uh, uh, Mother's Day come on y'all can come out and pee pee come on out so uh, we got we changed that rug can you see that rug that rug is much different Okay, we kind of switch things around. We have this couch here, and we have, you see that tree right there? And that plant right there is, is a different plant. Of course, that black thing is our grill, you know? And we have the bird feeder there, and we have added this new addition over here. I wanna bring it in, let me see if I can zoom in. So it's a lounger chair that that chair lays all the way down. And um, those little ducks right there that have the rain boots and the umbrella, they glow in the dark. They glow in the dark um, blue. And so here's the flowers that I have yet to, um, to plant. These are sun patients. Sun patients and geraniums. This is a different color geranium that um, I've never seen before. So they're gonna go back here in this backyard. You can see that we're working on it. Let me let me come in. We have some sun patients here. They're not impatients. Y'all know the impatients um, are only for shade. Sun patients are for strictly sun. So we have these marigolds back here. And you see how we're kind of doing a zigzag, right? Now see these holes right here. My husband made these holes for me so I can put the sun patients in. I don't know if y'all can see them. So we're gonna bring that all the way this way and we think it's gonna add some nice color. So I'm so grateful that he put those holes in there for me because um, I was planting some flowers out front and my it was like my my uh, cat, not my calves, the back of my thighs started hurting. I don't know, maybe from, I don't know if it was from being on my knees from, you know, the way I was digging and planting. So that's what we're working on, but we'll, we'll get there. But here's the area here. Let me zoom back out. Let's see. So I'm gonna pull this chair out so you can see how it works. We was laying, we was laying in these chairs um, uh, yesterday morning, and and this tree right here provides a whole lot of shade. So that's what these are. So that's part of the Mother's Day gift that they got me. There's the babies. Look at them. Polo, what are you doing, honey? Hey, you don't have to, do you have to pee pee? You ready to go in? Does anybody got a pee pee? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ain't they something? All right. Back back to the fork. Come on, boy. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> All right.
right, y'all, we don't have too much longer. Dinner's going to be served. I'm going to say an amazing prayer. I, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer now. Seven more minutes, that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer now. Let me see if I can fix this tripod. Don't freak out because the um, tripod, um, I'm trying to fix it, okay? Ugh. We're going to say a prayer because we're getting ready to eat. Sandra, thank you. I hope you have a great day today. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. All right, y'all, I'm trying to fix it. Bear with me. Do I got both dogs in here? You see both dogs? Okay. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you today. Everything got nice and bright when I started to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for your mercy, your love, time, your understanding. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Lord, we thank you for your mercy, your blessings, and your lessons. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us on a daily basis. Devil, you stand no chance. Heavenly Father, I thank you for everyone that's in this chat. May you bless over them, their lives, and their families. In Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've done and everything you will do in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. He said seven more minutes. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I think y'all are ready, too. You Okay, so somebody says... That couch that's out there that's in that corner, it does have a foot thing where you can put your foot on it. You thought the couch lounge was unique. I hate you got rid of it. I didn't get rid of it. I didn't get rid of it. It's out there in the corner. That's the first thing I showed you. It's out there in the corner. And it has like a foot thing to it. Remember, it's still out there in the corner, and I have the, the tree behind it. We just moved it. The dogs still love it. They was on it this morning. First thing this morning. Feed me, Jean. I'm ready to eat. Feed me, Seymour. Uh-huh. I remember that, too. Little shop of horse. Three minutes. Okay. This is great. At first you thought the ducks were real and they're holding umbrellas and they got yellow boots on. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're there. They're there. It's, it's, we weren't going to get rid of it because I believe we've only had it for uh, a year and a half. It's pretty much brand new. You know, because um, what we do, uh, when the weather gets cold, we take up all of the cushions uh, stack them in the basement in like a corner of the basement and we cover them and then when the spring hits when it's time for us to put our furniture back out there then we got nice fresh cushions you know so it, it's fairly new we wouldn't get rid of it don't let the dogs outside yeah what is it? I, I know. I think I am. I think I'm going to sleep good tonight. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because if my husband say that... Uh, Maybe we'll go outside and light a fire or some light, you know, a bonfire or something. Uh, we may do that. Um, we'll just see. We'll just see. Sometime I can get a burst of energy and I don't know where it came from. <laughs> you know, or I could be just knocked out as soon as I get off of here. <laughs> I'm going to check the lasagna. I'm pretty sure it's done. 
I'm taking it out, y'all. I know he said three minutes. I'm, I'm taking it out. Let me take it out, y'all. I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to flip it and you can see me. Um, uh, I will have to ask where he got the duck from. And, and like I said, it's so cute. And their whole body lights up in blue. Their whole body lights up in blue. Now that, that's what I'm looking for. This is, this is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, we got to let it rest. Y'all, I have to. Come here, come here, y'all. This is what I have to do because I'm impatient. I'm starving. I'm hungry. There's a little bit of sauce that's coming up on top of this cheese I have to take. Y'all, I'm starving. Mm -hmm. This going to be good. Mm. But let's be patient. Let's let it rest. Let it rest. Now, let me know in the comment section. Are you the person that's not going to let it rest? There's going to be somebody out there that's going to say, I don't want to let mine rest. I'm cutting it now. I'm about to look at the comments. Let me know. Are you the person that's not going to let yours rest? You said, I'm starving too, Gina. <laughs> you said, that's you? You're going to eat now? Okay, okay. I, I understand. There's been times that I've made lasagna on here. And I felt like that the people was ready to eat right then and there, you know? And I would cut it. And I would be so mad that I cut the lasagna and, you know. I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, but the people was ready to eat. So today I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to let it rest. Let me plug this thing in. We got we to plug this in or I'm going to lose connection with you all. I'll rest on my plate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I understand. I, I do. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'll rest it on my plate. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> That's funny. You said I'll rest it in my mouth. <laughs> there is a um, lasagna roll-up recipe that I have where you roll the, 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 um, the meat and the sauce up in your noodle and then you bake it. There's also um, a deconstructed lasagna that you can make. And it's, it's not, it's, it's not like stacked, right? So I've already taken it out, Ron. Um, if you wanted to make the deconstructed lasagna, um, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta worry about letting it rest. You know, you can just eat it when it's done. It is Debbie Parker. It's even better the next day. You are absolutely right. Son, 
your son, you said, when you hungry? When you, she said, when you hangry. Ain't nothing you can, you, you can't let nothing rest. I know, I know, y'all so funny. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it rest for a half an hour. So let's see what time it is. Let's just see. It's 6.51. We're going to let it rest for a half an hour. And I need a long cord, Dakota. You see this? Look at this. I need a long cord. Hurry up. But you don't want to burn your mouth. Yeah, let it rest. Mr. Young, is Mr. Young hungry? Ha! Huh. Is he? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> is, is he? he? <laughs> yes, he's what hungry. He? Uh, okay, so were you waiting on lasagna or did you do uh No. What? I waited. You waited. Okay, so okay. I waited. Okay, he waited. He wait he didn't get McDonald's, he waited, because that's it. Because I said it was going to be done in 10 minutes. But the first time he called me, y'all, it wasn't nowhere near done. I know he's like, what's she doing? She playing games with that lasagna. Huh. 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 They say, they're say they saying hi, honey. Tell everybody I said hello. He said hello to everybody. Everybody. He's waiting. He's waiting on the lasagna. Patiently waiting. <laughs> Wait, boy. You're not the boss of me. Can you the ball for me? Wait. <laughs> they said, Mr. Young, they said, Mr. Baby. Uh, <laughs> they said, Mr. Young, can you sing? Sure. What, what is, what? what? Okay, baby, I don't have a charger that works at all. Even this new charger don't work. Everything keeps dying on me. That's the charger. That's how they make it. Y'all, go, go get the charger off my dresser. Go get the charger off my dresser. It's a little tiny charger. I got, I got, let me say, I got one in the truck. You want me to get it? I, I just need one because it, it's getting ready to die on the, uh, on the lie. Ah, get my bread. Okay, hold on. Get your bread, Gina. Get your bread, Gina, Gina. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it is perfect. Thank you. Get the bread, Gina. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that tastes good. Yo, I'm over here licking the sauce. I am licking the sauce. Woo, I'm licking the sauce, y'all. The sauce over here is so good. Now. Is there anybody? I got the bread. I got the bread. I, I, uh, it's okay. I, I think there's some people. I think there's some impatient people in here that's ready for me to cut it right now. <laughs> You're about to text Christopher so he could be on the lookout. <laughs> Y'all, <the> <laughs> about to have some guests to be. Okay, 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 okay. You didn't find the charger? Okay, okay. Hold on, y'all. Let's let's change this charger because we got. If, if okay, if this charger don't work, I'm gonna have to lose y'all. Let's get rid of this one. Here. Maybe it's the box. What if it's the? No, it's box? not. It's the. It's the charger. Charger? Yeah. Now we're buffering. Okay. Well, let me see. I don't see it buffering over here. They told me to feed you. Are you ready right now? Feed me, Seymour. He said, feed me, Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I just say that earlier? Gina, I'm in the driveway. <laughs> All right, y'all don't want to wait. Since y'all don't want to wait, I'm cutting the lasagna. I'm, I'm cutting the lasagna. Y'all don't want to wait, right? You can freeze the leftovers of this. You can. I'm with you. We ain't going to have leftovers, though, because we're going to eat all this. Okay? We're outside lining up, Gina, in the driveway. 
All right, they said let's do it. We're gonna cut it. We're, we're gonna cut, cut it, cut it. Okay, okay, okay. I got the bread. You ready? I'm ready, I'm ready to record. All right, let's make plates. All right, let's make plates. Y'all some impatient, y'all impatient? Oh my goodness. We couldn't even let it rest. Okay. Okay, okay. Let, let me get the knife. We got a good, a good knife. I'm gonna wash my hands again, okay? It wasn't hard to make, right? You all can vouch for that. This was not hard to make. And it was fun. Right? All right, so let's grab it. Bring that camera in on my... Come on, y'all. Look at that baby. <laughs> and... Come on. Yes. <laughs> Mommy, come on. Look at that. That's for you guys. This is for you all. <laughs> you wanted it. How many pieces of garlic bread you want, honey? Okay. There it is. Fit for a king, fit for a queen. Lasagna, Gina Young style. Make you some. Now look at the layers. Come on layers, layers for days. Yes. <laughs> Look at the salt and pepper for my husband. He loves the black pepper. All right, put Parmesan if you want. Baby, you want Kool-Aid? <laughs> hey, Kool-Aid. He said, hey, Kool-Aid. <laughs> He said, hey, Kool-Aid, do you want Kool-Aid? <laughs> he want, I see him, he wants Kool-Aid. We're gonna give him a, a nice, oh, I'm giving him this. Okay, hold on, y'all, let's take mine. to make mine. You want me to? Yeah. Good good slice. A good slice? What's a good slice mean? A big, what's a good slice mean, <laughs> y'all? Does that mean he want a big piece? That's Dakota. Y'all heard him? You want garlic bread? Okay. You can get your own juice. All you gotta do is wash your hands, right? Yep. Show them your plate. Oh, my bad. Come on. Whee! Uh-huh. 
There you go, sir. Here's yours, baby. Yeah. All right. Thanks, baby. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Enjoy. Yeah. Can you wash my <laughs> mitts? Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. You're in the camera, sweetie pie. Oh, that's all right. I'm out right now. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> they like you in the camera. Do they? Yeah, they do. All right, I'm making my plate. We're going to come around and chit chat. This is beautiful. Isn't it? Oh, this is so pretty. Mm -hmm. I, Dakota, I'm going to have you feed the dogs. Because you see. Let me see this. They got baby food and cheese right there. Hello. Not baby food, but doggy. Doggy baby food. I don't want them to feed them. <laughs> All right, this is mine. Oh, it's mine. Oh! Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is one heck of a lasagna. Enjoy, y'all. Enjoy. This is beautiful. That's way too much. With this? Yeah. Yeah. I'll give them a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, I got them. Look at this, y'all. Like I said, I would have been happier if y'all would have let me let it rest. <laughs> but, look at this. I'm going to make it rest, all right. <laughs> you said you're going to make it rest, all right? And oh. Gonna he said it's going to rest in peace when he done with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said it's going to rest, all right, in peace when it's done when he done with it. Virginia. <laughs> you teasing me. Who's that, Donna? <laughs> I still see the layers. That's great. Thank you. Thank you all for joining me today. I really hope that you wrote down all of the notes and all of the suggestions, all of the tips that I gave you all today. I had an amazing time with you guys. Let's take a bite. I didn't want to make a salad today. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> I think it's because I may be a little tired today. I'm going in for this lasagna. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. You got to be kidding me. I know you kidding me how good this is. Oh. Y'all, this is so good. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. They're getting ready now. Mildred said, Mr. Young, I know you're right. <laughs> I know you're right. <laughs> How is his finger? His finger's doing okay. It's doing okay. I'm chewing with nothing in my mouth. Oh, here's his finger. <laughs> Look at it, y'all. <laughs> it's not doing okay. It's not funny. <laughs> he, that finger came in the camera. It came in the camera like. Looking like E.T. <laughs> <laughs> no, great. It looks it looks good, though, right? Compared to what I told y'all about mm -hmm. the finger. Oh, that thing was that. hanging like this. It was broke like this. Yeah. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see what you said. Gina wore the right attire because she went gangster in on that lasagna. Oh, <laughs> Look, the, the <laughs> oh don't tell her that. <laughs> mm, baby, this, this turned out so good. You're telling me, baby, I'm gangster. 
<laughs> he said, don't tell me that. He said, I'm going to wind up telling him I'm gangster. <laughs> he said, y'all going to have me telling him I'm gangster. <laughs> mm, y'all, listen, I'm not kidding with you. I'm not kidding. When I tell you how scrumptious, scrum dillyumptious and delicious that this baby is, does anybody believe me? Oh man, it tastes good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you like cheesy, you like Italian, you like saucy, you like noodles, you, oh my goodness, let me show you what I got here. I got lasagna on top of a piece of garlic bread. So, so, somebody wants this. Gina, woo! <laughs> I'm prepared for tomorrow. Thanks, Gina. Lasagna. <laughs> let me see, Sonia. That's so funny what you're saying. Oh, yeah. What happened? What happened? Yeah. <laughs>